What's poppin' Diva Gang? How are y'all doing today? Today I'm gonna be showing you how I remove and reuse my handmade press-on nails without damaging them so that they can be nice and looking like new, just like these here. So this is them after about two weeks of wear. I've been gluing them back on. One of them actually even came off. You know, it's been two weeks. I do a lot with my hands, so you know it happened so we just jump in right into it so i've already washed my hands with some antibacterial soap and now i have a nice fancy bowl of hot hot h2o make it as hot as you can stand it okay and um i'm taking some of this cuticle oil this is my cuticle oil that i make and it comes with each order from diamonddose.com by the way, use the code WELCOME, get 10% off your first purchase. And now I'm just adding some of that um, nice Dove soap into my mixture because it smells good, you know, and that's a good way for me to just get these nails nice and loosened up and ready to remove. And I'm also adding some of that cuticle oil onto my hands as well. And I'm just massaging it kind of into my cuticles just to kind of soften up that glue a little bit and just get them kind of prepared to be coming off. And now I'm dipping my hands into the hot water for 10 minute intervals, okay? So once 10 minutes is up, I'm gonna take my hands out the water and just kind of check to see if any of the nails are ready to come off. And very gently, you can see I'm just pressing on the nail. I'm not forcing any of the nails off, but some of them, as you can see, like this one here, are, you know, they're about ready to come off. They just need a little help, so. I'm just going to stick my hands back into that water for another 10 minutes until the nails have loosened up some more. I'm going to kind of massage the water and the oil into my hands just to continue loosening up that product and you know just be patient. And now I'm using an orange wood cuticle stick to go ahead and remove the nail from my fingernail and as you can see it's not like tore up or anything like how your nail would be after removing a acrylic nail. It's just you know my nails are not really the healthiest anyway. You can probably tell they're just they're very very thin you know so that's just me that's just me you know and my bad habits but you remove your nails this way you're surefire going to maintain the health of your nails and i'm not a professional by any means but this is definitely just what i do just to keep my nails you know nice and healthy and be able to reuse my press-ons you know i'll be honest i don't always reuse my press-ons but i worked so hard on these and they came out so pretty and i got so many compliments on them and i just really wanted to save them and keep them so i was like let me show y'all what i do so after all of the nails have fully come off by the way don't force any of the nails off just be patient soak your hands and wait until the nails you know kind of peel off a little bit naturally and as you can see we did get them all off but there's still kind of like some glue around the cuticle area just from me like reapplying them and we're about to address that because that is not cute okay and we can't reuse them like that so i am going to be going in with my e-file if you don't have an e-file you can purchase an inexpensive you know one of those like real cheap cheapy kind of files that they sell like in cvs or whatever usually they're not more than like 10 15 dollars and you can just use one of those and i just want to get all of that glue from out underneath the nail because you know it's just not good and you can see the difference between the nail that's filed there and the nail that's not well maybe you can't but i was trying to show you like the build up of the glue and when you go to reapply your nails that can definitely cause problems with lifting it can cause the nails not to stay on as long as possible so you definitely want to make sure you remove that completely from the bottom of each nail and when you are doing this just make sure you be careful because i did kind of crack i think it was this nail i filed a little too much and i cracked it on the side there but it's okay if that does happen to you you can just um top coat over it or apply a little bit of builder gel just to kind of seal that area back up for me it wasn't that deep just because the crack is not really even that big but it is there so yeah um if you don't want to reuse your press on nails you can also add a little bit of acetone to that hot water mixture to soak your hands in um but if you do want to reuse your press nails i reuse your nails i do not recommend you do that because especially if you have like a design like this one with lots of stones and you know or if you have a lot of intricate 3d nail art it's gonna you know it can melt your art that's on your nails and it could just make it look really nasty and not cute so that's why i didn't use any acetone but if you don't care any about that 
anything about that you can definitely add some acetone and it will actually i think make the nails come off a little bit faster so yeah after doing that cleanup with my hand file and i just use like a regular sanding band it's no brand really in particular just use any sanding bands that you have and i just used that and now i'm going in with the hand file just to refresh the shape a little bit um these tips that i use you know they're pretty um good at keeping their shape and things like that but i did just want to refresh it touch up the sides a little bit um make the free edge a little bit more pronounced and then i also dusted them off and cleaned them as well just to get them ready for repackaging and all of that good stuff and to do that i just use a little bit of hand sanitizer on a paper towel that i just had out on my desk you can also use isopropyl alcohol now I'm going in to repackage the nails. We're basically done. See how quick that was? It was super quick. And so now I'm just repackaging the nails so that I can store them. You can repackage them however way you like. This is just my favorite way. And I made this cardstock on Canva. If you want a tutorial on that, just let me know. And I just used some pop, up, pop dot tape that I got from the dollar store to adhere the nails. And this is basically how they're looking. They look good as new. They don't even look like I ever wore them. All of my stones are still intact. They're still nice and shiny. And who going no? Okay, who going no? If you know what I'm saying, like and if they are if they do know then they stand it too close we in a panoramic tell them to back the hell up but anywho um now we're going to address these natural nails because you can't forget about your natural nails and you know mine are a little tore up just because like i said i don't really take good care of them i'm always wearing nails i'm always taking them off incorrectly so this is the correct way to take your nails off so that you don't end up like me but I basically just went in, I shaped up the nail a little bit just with my hand file to shape up some of the jagged edges. I buffed over the surface of the nail just to make it nice and smooth. And then I'm going in with this nail uh, hardener by Sally Hansen just to, you know, have something on my nails, make them look a little bit more um, polished. <laughs> um, I just did one coat of that. I allowed it to dry. And then after I was done with that, I applied some of my cherry scented cuticle oil. And that's basically it. That is how I remove and reuse my press on nails. Um, comment below, let me know what you thought of the video. If you have any tips for removing nails, press on nails, acrylic nail tips, you can comment that as well. Let's keep the knowledge going. Let's all share what we know. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I know this is a little bit different from the stuff I normally do, but I felt like it was an important video, you know? So yes, I cannot wait to reuse these press on nails. I love them so much, y'all. This rainbow ombre is just giving me everything that it was supposed to give. Comment below if you agree. Don't forget to hit that like button so that my video can get recommended to more divas like you. Don't forget to leave me a comment. And also don't forget to hit that subscribe button and click the bell, turn your post notifications on so that you don't miss any of my future uploads thank you so much for watching i love you so much diva gang until next time peace Mwah.